Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. QuickBooks Enterprise helps you get orders to customers faster and track products purchased more efficiently by linking sales orders to purchase orders. Let's go over how to enable linking sales orders to purchase orders, record sales orders and associated purchase orders, and then run a report to help you easily determine which items on your sales order have a purchase order. To turn this feature on, select Edit, Preferences, then select Items in Inventory, Company Preferences. Check this box to link and track sales order line items with purchase orders. Select OK. QuickBooks will close all of your open windows. Select OK. When you receive an order from a customer, you enter a sales order. Sales orders help you keep track of what your customers want to buy, and then, as you fulfill the order, you can use it to generate purchase orders and invoices. Enter the customer's name and the date they submitted the order. Then enter all of the items they ordered, and save. If your customer ordered anything you need to submit a purchase order for, select Create Purchase Order. You can submit a purchase order for all the items on the sales order or the items you select. And if your vendor drops ships to your customer, check this checkbox. This will automatically enter the customer's address as the ship to address on the purchase order. Select OK. If you're creating a purchase order for selected items, select them. And then enter the quantity you want to purchase. If you need to issue multiple purchase orders or issue purchase orders to multiple vendors, enter the amount you're ordering now. You can come back later to create more purchase orders from the sales order. Select OK. QuickBooks fills out the purchase order for you. Fill in any additional details like the vendor you're sending the purchase order to or a message to the vendor. Then save and send the purchase order to your vendor. Let's close the purchase order and go back to the sales order. Now you see the linked purchase order number you used to order the items. If you print sales orders and want the linked PO column to appear on your printed forms, select Formatting, and you can turn on printing in the Customize Data Layout screen. If you need to issue more purchase orders to fulfill the sales order, select Create Purchase Order again. Choosing to create a purchase order for all allowed items at this point will unlink the sales order from the purchase order you created earlier. So, select Create a Purchase Order for Selected Items. Select OK. Choose what you want to order on this additional purchase order. And select OK. Fill out the details on the purchase order. And save and send the purchase order to your vendor. Back on your sales order, you see both purchase orders listed. And if you select the purchase order number, QuickBooks opens the purchase order. Let's take a look at your new report. Select Reports, Sales, Sales Orders Linked to Purchase Orders. This report lists each customer with open sales orders, and then the details of each sales order, including the items the customer ordered. The details of the purchase order you used to purchase the items, and anything you haven't submitted a purchase order for. As you receive items from the purchase orders you've submitted, QuickBooks updates the items received so you can keep track of what customers ordered, what you've submitted purchase orders for, and what you and your client have received all from one report. Now you're ready to speed up order fulfillment and enhance customer satisfaction by linking sales orders with associated purchase orders.